there is absolutely no fossil evidence of human existence during the Precambrian, Paleozoic, Mesozoic, or for the majority of the Cenozoic era. As far as we can tell, humans have not existed until very recently. During the Cenozoic era, however, a series of primates evolved, first primates early in the Cenozoic, and then anthropoid primates, and later catarine primates, and then apes, and later higher apes and African apes, until about five to seven million years ago, we believe that there was a split in the ape family tree with one branch leading to chimps and one branch leading to a group known as the hominids. These earliest hominids from say five to seven million years ago were much more chimp-like than uh, human-like. Their heads were small, their brains were small, their faces were chimp-like. However, they apparently evolved bipedal locomotion early. So forms such as Ardipithecus and perhaps Sahelanthropus and Auroran are indicative of this early step in human evolution. From four million years ago to about two and a half million years ago, uh, our lineage included a group known as the Australopithecines and perhaps some relatives such as Kenyanthropus. These were still bipedal. Uh, some of them probably were using tools. And while their heads were still ape-like, there were modifications of their canines being reduced in size or their hips, knees, and feet and large toes being modified to be more similar to humans. So while their faces and their brain size would remind us more of non-human apes, uh, many other aspects of their anatomy were becoming very human-like. Around two and a half million years ago, there are a series of fossils which we now classify uh, with the genus name Homo because they remind us uh, more of our species than of any other uh, type of primate. These Homo fossils, such as Homo habilis and Homo rudolfensis, had enlarged brain regions, although they were still about the size of Australopithecines and chimps.